Lesson 11. Physics Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today we are going start looking at the base physics in the Unity 3D engine. We will start by talking about rigid bodies, what they are, how to apply them, and what you can do with them. Step 1. Rigid Body The first physics component that we are going to present is the rigid body. To use it, simply create a game object and, on the inspector tab, search for rigid body. As you can see you have two types of rigid body components, the rigid body and the rigid body 2D. For now we will focus on the rigid body and leave the 2D component for our 2D lesson in Unity. Select the rigid body and add it to your game object. A rigid body is a component that enables physics on game objects. You can set a rigid body to receive forces and torque in order to make your game objects move in a realistic way. In order to be affected by the engine gravity, a game object must contain a rigid body component. Using forces on a rigid body to manipulate your game object, creates a very different feel and look than adjusting the transform component directly. Usually, you shouldn't influence the rigid body and the transform of the same game object, you must chose one. The biggest difference between using the transform versus the rigid body is the use of forces. Rigid bodies can receive forces and torque, but transforms cannot. You can translate and rotate a transform, but this is not the same as using physics. Adding forces or torque to the rigid body will actually change the object's position and rotation of the transform component. This is why you should only be using one or the other. Changing the transform while using physics could cause you problems with collisions and other calculations. As you can see, a rigid body has several parameters that you can use. You can define the mass of the object. Keep in mind that the difference between the masses of rigid bodies should not be greater than 100 times. On drag, you set how much air resistance affects the object when moving from forces. Zero means no air resistance, and infinity makes the object stop moving immediately. Angular drag indicates how much air resistance affects the object when rotating from torque. Zero means no air resistance. Note that you cannot make the object stop rotating just by setting its angular drag to infinity. Gravity allows you to enable gravity on the game object. Next you have the parameter is kinematic. If enabled, the object will not be driven by the physics engine and can only be manipulated by its transform. This is useful for moving platforms, if you want to animate a rigid body that has a hinge joint attached, or simply reset the forces that affect the game object. On interpolate, you have several options to you can use if you see jerkiness in your rigid body's movement. You can set it to none, interpolate, or extrapolate. Next, you can set the type of collision detection you want. This is used to prevent fast moving objects from passing through other objects without detecting collisions. You can set it to discrete, continuous, or continuous dynamic. Finally, you can set constraints to position and rotation of the game object on a specific axis. This was our tutorial on Unity 3D Rigid Bodies. On the next video, we will talk about colliders and how to use them. If you have any doubts or feedback, leave it on the comment section below. Until next time, and keep doing awesome games.